Can't take it anymore. My mind's about to go to war. I need someone to save me from myself. To hear me cry when I call out for help. I blame it on the voices that are in my head. Wondering if they. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an all day clean with me. I really needed to do an extreme whole house clean. It was so disgusting. So today's video is an extreme whole house clean with me. And I hope you guys grab a ton of whole house clean with me cleaning motivation from today's video as well. I did wind up dividing it up into two parts because there was just so much cleaning that needed to be done. My family and I were pretty sick for a couple of weeks, so everything just kind of piled up and the house is super messy and disgusting and definitely needed a deep clean. So anyway, without too much more talking, I started by stripping the beds so that I could get all the blankets, sheets, pillowcases, and everything washed, and then I jumped into cleaning the rest of the house. Like I am close to reaching now it's end. Holding out, but I'm about to blow it up like a volcano. As part of this stay-at-home mom whole house clean with me 2023 video, I wanted to share a few things that I did to make sure that my house was deep cleaned. The whole house needed a top to bottom cleaning. So I used some antibacterial cleaner in my Love Meg bottle and I made sure I cleaned everything top to bottom, including cabinets handles. I cleaned out the refrigerator. I wound up ordering some groceries. So before I put those away, I wanted to do a clean on everything in the refrigerator and get that nice clean and decluttered and organized so that I could put all of the fruits and veggies away. I love to hear how you guys do your cleaning when you are getting over a sickness. Do you do a top to bottom sanitizing clean? I made sure I even mopped and swept the floors, all of that good stuff. So this video was a lot longer than I anticipated. So I didn't want to do a two-day clean on this entire video. So I wound up breaking my two-day whole house cleaning video into two separate videos so you guys could get a ton of whole house cleaning motivation today and also in next week's video as well. Another day to lose control There's a fire in my bones My sight gets blurry pushing back the tears Should take a leap of faith and face my fear I blame it on the voices that are in my head Wondering if they'll ever be put to bed Feels like I Close to reaching now it's end Holding out but I'm about to Blow it up like a volcano So while I was filming this whole house cleaning video, I winded up stopping to take out the trash because it got super full and something from the tree fell in my hair. It was actually a leaf and I filmed the entire video with this huge leaf in my hair and didn't realize it until my husband came home and pointed it out. So I just thought I would point that out. It's just a leaf. It's not a bug or any weird things in my hair, but apparently it was from a 
tree outside whenever I took out the trash. So just ignore the leaf in the hair. Life happens. So I did not want to refilm an entire video. I figured you guys could just ignore that and still get a ton of cleaning motivation from today's video. These little red things that I'm restocking are called Danimals and basically they're like drinkable yogurts. My daughter has been obsessed with them. She absolutely loves them and I love, I love that they are a healthier choice, especially since she is getting over being sick, but I love to hear what kind of healthy snacks you guys use with your kids if you are a parent and if you're not, what kind of healthy snacks do you recommend? Do you like for yourself. I would love to hear and get ideas, especially since we are trying to do a little bit of a healthier choice right now, especially, like I said, getting over all the sicky stuff. So let me know down below what you guys recommend. Flashing lights, dance with fire in the night, I'm wired Watch the time pass us by, is this feeling lying? Could you pass the lighter? Yeah, I'm trying to keep my cool Nicotine in my veins, flaming up to size What am I supposed to do? Cause it feels so good Feeling wild like a zoo, put me in a mood One of the YouTubers that I've been loving lately is Charmaine Rosely. If you guys have not checked out her channel, she has some amazing whole house cleaning motivation and cleaning motivation in general. And she's also a stay at home mom. Anyway, I was watching her this morning before I started cleaning my house just to soak up some motivation. And I was watching one of her videos recently and one of them recommended this pancake sheet dinner or breakfast or casserole. I'm not even sure exactly what the correct name is, but anyway, it was really, really good, but we winded up not eating it all. We winded up feeling pretty sick before we could finish it. And so it's set in the refrigerator for a little bit. And I'm going to be honest, I was not filling up to clean out the refrigerator and all of that. I just kind of did the bare minimum on things. When you're not feeling well, you just do 
a small amount just so that you can function. And that's kind of how I was for about a week. And so I wound up scraping this and letting it soak in water. And then later on that evening, I came in and put it in the dishwasher. the sweetest in-laws they had heard that we were not feeling well and so they made us some homemade soup and then they also did some chopped brisket and brought that over for us to eat on for a few days so we didn't have to worry about food and it really just made a world of difference especially when you're not feeling well the last thing you want to do is cook so I just thought that was really sweet so I do appreciate my in-laws very much for thinking about us and going above and beyond to make sure that we're taken care of. So anyway, I did wind up sweeping my kitchen and I really have been using the sweeping much more than vacuuming my kitchen because the way my counters are, they are just really hard to clean underneath with the vacuum. And so it's just easier to get the broom under there. And then I will go ahead and mop once I'm done sweeping. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry and just want to get it done, I'll run a vacuum over it. But most of the time I use the broom in the kitchen. As part of this all-day whole house cleaning, I went from room to room 
and anything that did not belong into that room, I kind of scooted it and moved it out. I usually will use a basket, which is usually a better option. I just didn't do that today. I was just kind of in a groove and just didn't want to stop what I was doing, but I winded up throwing everything that did not belong in the kids' playroom into the hallway, and then I later winded up putting that all in the correct places before I moved on to the rest of the house. I have heard some amazing whole house cleaning tips on how to make cleaning a lot easier. There are some hacks and tips out there that are absolutely marvelous, so let me know down below or let whoever is watching this video, because I know that people do read comments and I'm sure that there are people out there that are watching for motivation tips and ideas on cleaning their entire house. So if you guys have any motivating or really good cleaning hacks, then make sure you put those down in the comments so that we can help each other out. If you are still watching this extreme whole house clean with me, I just wanted to say thank you so much. I hope you are getting a ton of all day cleaning motivation or you are able to clean your whole house along with me. Either way, I really do appreciate you watching this far into the video. If you are brand new here, my name is Becky. I am a stay at home mom of two and on my channel, I do tons of all day cleaning. I do whole house clean with me's. I do extreme clean with me's. I do full house cleaning motivation as well, especially for 2023. So if you do enjoy that type of content, make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out, especially the second half of this video, which I will be posting on Thursday of this coming week. So like I said, make sure you are subscribed and you have that bell on. It is absolutely free and it really does help out my channel a whole lot having you subscribe, comment, and making sure that you give this video a thumbs up as well. So anyway, I am so honored and thankful to have you and I'm going to let you guys finish the rest of this video. If you do need some more cleaning motivation after this one, make sure you check out the video at the very end and also in the description, I always link some kind of video for you guys to grab some more inspiration and there are tons on my channel as well.